Now let's feel it. Feel what it would be like to be a Formula One driver. That's exactly what Renault F1 team is allowing a select few individuals to experience by organizing driving days at the Paul Ricard circuit. The first step to becoming a Formula One driver is to look like one, complete with the official race suit. Try not to get too carried away too quickly. Then there's a welcome session in the briefing room, a bit like being at school. In charge of proceedings are Steve Hisa, as well as an old friend Guillaume Groyer, and Mathieu Zangarelli and Jonathan Koshek aren't too far behind. Philip programme manager Tarek Ait Said explains the thinking behind the scheme. Comment faire conduire How do you teach a complete beginner to drive a Formula One car? There are two main problems. Firstly, a single-seater is nothing like a road-going car. And secondly, you only have a limited time to spend with each driver. Add to that the fact that it's not just a racing car, but when you put it on the track, it becomes a lethal weapon. Well, the idea behind this program, the idea of Renault and our partners, is to offer something different to its guests and to the media. A lot of sports journalists commentate on Formula One, and we wanted to help them out by helping them to understand that Formula One isn't as easy as they might think. Well, that's something we know only too well, but perhaps it's easy to forget it in the heat of the moment. Back to the classroom, and it's time for some safety tips and advice on how to drive sensibly. The most important lesson, of course. There's a lot of information to take in. It's followed by a shuttle trip around the track to explain the lines and the different markers at the side of the track. Just like with any other F1 experience, like an LRS Formula course, for example, one of the first steps is to learn, or in some cases, revisit, driving a lower Formula single-seater. No surprises then that on this occasion it's a Formula Renault. And then it's back around the track again, this time in a car. First time around the 3,848 metre track is behind one of the instructors. Formula Renault quickly reminds you just how different driving a single seater really is, forcing you to tap the brakes using the power through the corners and it takes a while to feel natural. After 10 or so laps you start to feel more comfortable behind the wheel and it's a good job too as the next time out on the track be at the controls of an F1 car. We all know that F1 drivers are true athletes. They may be sat down but it takes grit, huge physical efforts and a lot of courage. An F1 team employs full-time physiotherapists to look after its drivers and now it's time to take advantage. Well I'm going to run through a pre-race warm-up routine. We generally do it 20 or 30 minutes before the race and then they're straight out onto the track. An excellent, excellent exercise for the abdominals. That gets them working without stressing the back. Final part of the torture is to test our reflexes on a machine that the drivers use a lot, especially during the off-season. To help stop them going rusty, perhaps it's a shame. It won't help us amateurs. The morning draws to a close. Time for a short theory lesson on the start procedure from Guillaume Gruyer. When you think about it, it's unbelievable. In just a few hours, we have been filled in with all the information being reassured throughout. His favourite phrase is, it's loud, what do you expect? It's an F1 car. Guillaume is helping us all towards the ultimate goal, driving an F1 car as if nothing could be more simple. Well, anybody can do it so long as they concentrate and so long as they really want it. Clearly, we're not going to be as quick as Kovalainen, but everyone will be able to experience a lap in a Formula 1 car, even if it's not at full speed. For me, someone who is so passionate about the sport, to be able to help as many people as possible to experience this is a great thrill. Hopefully, my passion comes across. I certainly share my passion with others, and that's the reason I enjoy doing my job as an instructor. On va accélérer très légèrement.
Back with Mathieu Zangarelli now for the very precise starting procedure. Okay, 7 to 8% throttle, the engine starts, the green LED comes on and accelerate slowly, start in second and whatever you do, don't stall. Two laps, it's certainly a lot, while at the same time, not really very much. You have to enjoy these intense moments. The first lap gives you the chance to understand the beast, or 700 horsepower of it, and take in the sensations. On the second lap, you have to go for it. Accelerate, try to go flat out, climb through the gears, and then enjoy coming back down through them again. Touch the brakes and sense the efficiency. And it's almost over, and it's over. How we would have loved to have continued that. After being a passenger in a two-seater F1 car, we now know what the real thing feels like. In two laps, we were catapulted from one corner to the next by the ferocious V8. The end result was a lap time roughly the same as a Formula Renault. All in all, pleasure mixed with some regrets, but with a renewed sense of humility. So Renault's plan had all the desired effects. <laughs>